All right, well, I had a customer send me the internals out of his monitor audio RSW12. Remember, I did a video on one very similar to this a few years ago, and it had a really bad hum. Well, let's power this one up. And you can hear the results. I hear a 60 hertz hum and a bunch of high frequency component at the same time, which really shouldn't be on a subwoofer at all. Well, first off, let's go ahead and check the power supply capacitors and see what they test like. So right down in here, there are three voltage regulator ICs. You can see them right here. Then they each have an input filter capacitor. There's the third one hiding under the cables right there and an output filter capacitor right there. So let's go ahead and ESR those caps real quick and see what they test like. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what the value of these caps are, but the input caps should be probably 470s, 220s. I'd expect to see maybe half an ohm or less. So here are the input caps right here. The first one reads 16 ohms, absolutely terrible. The second one reads 18 ohms, absolutely terrible. And this is the third input cap, 17 ohms, absolutely terrible. These are the output caps, 1.8, not too terribly bad, 2.5, a little bit higher, and 2.3. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and change those caps. There's a couple other ones here, 2.3, 2.5, and we'll see if that brings this thing back to life. Hopefully that's all it is, just a few capacitors. So I'm gonna start by adding fresh solder to all the capacitors just to help removal. So you can see the one under there, gonna be kinda of hard to show because the wires wanna keep creeping back and I really don't wanna cut them, but I'll do the best I can. All right, got all six capacitors unsoldered. Let's go ahead and pull them out and test them out of circuit. Well, they're not gonna be too hard to pull out because one's already fallen out. This one's just laying loose in there. This one is all but fallen out. So it looks like I got a couple of 330s at 25 and a 220 at 25 and two 100s at 16, and finally the third, probably a 100 at 16, I'm gonna guess, yes. 85 degrees Celsius, low temperature caps. And the big ones are 85 degrees Celsius as well, even let's check the 330s. Yes, 85. Jun Fu, high quality caps. Those are definitely some China Con caps right there. Jun Fu, yes. Little ones, who are they made by? Jun Fu. Okay, now they're out of the circuit. Let's go ahead and test them with the ESR meter and see how they test out of circuit. Well, we'll start with the two 330s and nothing on that one. It won't even read at all. Yes, my leads are good. Here, if I touch the end of the lead, I get zero. Open, absolutely open. Second 330, nothing. The 220, Nothing, open. That 16 that you saw was me shorting the leads together. Open. Open. And open. No, my leads are good. It's definitely the capacitors that are bad. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any 220s or 330s, so I'm gonna have to put in some 470s now these are good quality Kimmet capacitors. They are kind of low end, but they are 105 degrees Celsius rated caps. And for the 100s, I have some Lelon capacitors. Once again, good quality 105 Celsius caps, much better than what came out of the unit. And just because these things tested so badly, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other capacitors off the board of the same value and we'll test those as well. So just FYI, I'll go ahead and test one of the 100 microfarad Lelons and it tests 0.18 ohms, absolutely perfect. We'll check one of the 470s and it tests 0.09 ohms, 0.10 ohms, absolutely perfect. Way better than open.
All right, all the caps are changed. Let's go ahead and pull these two out right here. We'll check those as well, just in case. Those are both 100 microfarad 16 volt Jun Fu caps. That one is absolutely open. If I touch the lead, I get zero. The other lead, absolutely open. Same thing on that one, zero, open. Well, I went ahead and pulled every single leaded electrolytic capacitor off this board, tested them, and every single one of them was bad. There's even one hiding here on the bottom that was bad as well. All caps are changed. Board's all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see what happens now. Okay, here we go. Power on. I get a red light. See if it turns green. Yes, it does. And I hear no abnormal hum coming out of the speakers. No squealing, no anything. Let's go ahead and feed some audio into it now and see if we get some sound. Well, there's some audio going into it right there from my MP3 player, but that's a very low level. Listen to what happens when I turn the volume up now. Nothing but distortion. I'm gonna bet those surface mount caps are bad as well. Well, I'm gonna have to break the bad news to my customer and we'll see if he wants to proceed with the repair. I'm betting it's going to be several hours to pull all those boards out, change every surface mount capacitor. Of course, I'll use leaded electrolytic capacitors as replacements. So I'll see if he wants to go for it. Maybe there'll be a part two. Maybe there won't. Maybe this will be a successful failure. Who knows? Anyhow, thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, there will be a part two. Everyone have a great day. Thank you so much for watching once again. Bye-bye.